Welcome back to Virginia This Morning, live right here on CBS 6. The KLM Scholarship Foundation partnered with CBS 6 for the last three years, presenting its third annual $10,000 scholarship giveaway contest. It kicked off Friday, April 2nd, and ended this past Friday. Today, the founder of the organization joins us live to announce the winner. We welcome Kimberly Martin back to Virginia This Morning. Always a delight to see you, Kim. Hey, Jessica. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. This is a happy Monday indeed. Before we get to the big announcement, which is huge, let's take a quick step back and talk about a few things. Can you remind us about the KLM Scholarship Foundation and how this kicked off, how you began this whole uh, foundation? Sure. So I was a um, student at Virginia State University. That's my alma mater. And it was a struggle sometimes paying for my education. So I just basically made a promise in my heart that as soon as I could give back, that I would. And fast forward, you know, in my early 30s, um, and I'm only 35. <laughs> fast forward to my early 30s, you know, I just partner with a bunch of friends and family and just started doing that, that just that giving back with book scholarships to Virginia college students. It's so incredible because to have the inspiration to do this and the dedication to do this. And while you've just shared this started really organically with friends and family and really for this goal of, of helping others, you're close to giving away $400,000 at this point in terms of scholarships. Absolutely, Jessica. I mean, the community at large has, has been wonderful. Our volunteers are excellent in this volunteer week. Shout out to all our volunteers. Um, and our sponsors and you guys have really supported our program. And you're absolutely right. Last year alone, we gave away $59,000 and um, we, we were at 384,745,000. ,000. And this year we're almost gonna be nearly a half a million dollars. It's, it's incredible, but it's been a lot of work. And we've talked a little bit about that, too, before this interview, in that given the circumstances of the last year and then coming into this year, the support remains. Can't take that for granted, but the support not only is there, it's been growing. It's been growing, and we are so grateful for people for everyone's generosity. I mean, last year was a big shock to us because we couldn't host in-person events that bring in, you know, over 80% of our funding, but we were able to pivot and we, with our committed sponsors and donors, we were still able to give back as usual. So let's take that word pivot and let's focus then on what you've been able to do this year. It is the third annual $10,000 scholarship giveaway contest. How did this work? What is what happens with that award and, and how did we get to this stage? So the first time we hosted the award, it was in adjacent to our annual uh, Black and White Affair uh, uh, fundraiser, but we didn't let COVID or the pandemic stop us. We still had the contest last year and were able to pull together and have it again this year because we're just so committed to supporting that Virginia college um, that had so many different votes and community support. It's so exciting and we're just so grateful to be able to do it for the third year in a row. I know you are. It's fantastic to see it growing. And speaking of growing, I think we're going to have someone join us for this interview because he has questions oh. of his own. You and Mr. Bevins were talking before we got started about how you met years ago. So, Bill, I know you've got questions for Kim. Yeah. And, you know, I met Kim years ago when she was just starting this, and I was so yes. impressed by her. And, you know, there's two ways to look at a situation that she found herself where she was struggling to get the money. And one way is, well, I got mine, you get yours. And the other yes. way is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it around and come back and, and give it back. Kim, are you finding more and more people are, are reticent to helping out or do you run into that I got mine situation? 
You know what? Folk, when, when people find out what we're doing, how long we've been doing it, and how we approach it, they are so, you know, so generous and willing to help us. It's just really amazing. And, you know, and we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the community support and without CBS 6's partnership with us. And that's what makes the difference. So, so Kim, another quick question, you know, Bill was asking, um, have folks been reticent in stepping up? How is it that the recipients are finding their way? Because again, circumstances being what they are all the time, you need a little help, just as you mentioned, when you were on your way to higher education, it's expensive. And mm -hmm. these students, these Virginia scholars need the support. How are they finding their way to KLM Scholarship Foundation? So they find out about us through social media. Um, you know, we have Facebook account, Instagram, Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. They are also finding out about us through word of mouth. And, you know, the students are just so wonderful, guys. Last year, we helped 57 students. And we had a chance to do some interviews with them lately that we'll hopefully share soon. And they're just so grateful for the opportunity. And they've had to deal with a lot. All of us have had to deal with a lot with the pandemic. But if you think about your college years and how that's the time to meet people, have fun and do a lot of learning, and then most have had to, you know, uh, learn virtually, it's been challenging. But I'm so impressed with our students for, for diligently sticking to their plan. We're proud of you, girl, because you are <laughs> making a difference and making our world a better place. The KLM Foundation, Kimberly L. Martin, has made a difference in Central Virginia. And, and we don't know where that's going to go, but we know it's good. Yes, yes. Well, we, we know one thing that's incredibly good. Kimberly, I think it is time for you to make the announcement. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here, here we go right now. Kimberly, take it away. So this year's winner of the KLM Scholarship Foundation's $10,000 scholarship giveaway contest is Virginia Union University. Congratulations, Ooh. guys. Wow, congratulations. Yes, that they, is fantastic. They received the most votes and good for them. <laughs> A lot of hard work went into that, but it's worth it, isn't it, Kim? Yes, yes. I'm just so happy and, and proud for them. It's awesome. That is incredible. Kim, thank you so much for all that you do for making this possible. And certainly the students of Virginia Union University are going to benefit incredibly from that $10,000 book scholarship. And you've helped so many. Thank you. Thank you so much. I Thanks, appreciate Kim. it. Thank you. Bye, guys. Wow, oh, wow, what an inspiration and what a cool thing to share on a Monday morning. I love kicking it off. For more information on the KLM Foundation, you can visit our website later today, wtbr.com slash VTM. We'll have a link to all the details. All right, Bill, the KLM, the KLM Foundation. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we're like overwhelmed here. You, you take it away. <laughs> they do so much, as we just heard from the community. The scholarship contest is such a great way to help students. You know, I, I love Kim when we first met her and she first told us about what she was doing a couple of years ago. We were like, really? Are you taking this on yourself? And she is. I mean, her name's on the foundation. And this is, this is what, uh, why we like doing Virginia this morning. We get to meet people that see a problem instead of, you know, saying, oh, well, okay, that's a mess. We're going to, you know, no, she's going back and giving back and, and helping to fix the problem. And she was a young woman. She was barely out of college herself when she started this whole thing and is making a huge difference. She really is. And in that interview, you heard Kim share about the black and white affair. This had grown, so this was their primary fundraiser, huge event, really anticipated, and everybody loved going and enjoying it. It was a celebration of the hard work KLM Foundation was doing, of the work that was coming out of it. I mean, it was a really great event. And then of course now, two years in a row, pushing pause on the major funding event certainly creates some speed bumps, or you would think in the work that you're able to accomplish. And yet, 
Kimberly and the volunteers that she shared uh, are doing all of the hard work making it possible. It really is just, it's one of those very positive stories and what a pleasure to share. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, the, there was a problem, no problem for people like him. <laughs> it's like, there's a problem. Oh, well, then we'll fix that. I mean, you know, you got that instant gratification when they had the black and white affair and everything, you know, you were there and you got to feel it and, and be part of it and see the kids and do the whole thing. Okay, we can't do that. All right, well, we'll pick up the slack. And they did. That's right. So for parents, grandparents, students, current students, or maybe rising students, if you feel uh, the KLM Foundation might be able to help um, support your higher education, we will have that link later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. So you can go and check it out and learn about the great work.